Hey, and welcome back to part two of the Nokia 6800 restoration. Now in part one, uh, if you already haven't seen it, by the way, it's up here. You can go ahead and click that uh, card above or I'll link it down in the description below as well. In part one, we took it apart, we cleaned it and we pasted some parts, especially this part, the cracks and stuff, as you can see here, we pasted those and everything has dried uh, ever since then. And we also pasted uh, this part as well. So in this video, what we'll be, what we'll be doing is uh, going over everything else in this phone and putting it back together and uh, just doing some touch ups on everything that needs to be done as a final assembly and putting it back together and getting done with this series. Now, for this part here that I mentioned, the crack uh, cracked uh, faceplate uh, screen like thing uh, over the display like that. There's nothing really I can do. I could not find any replacement faceplates online. There's a few, uh, I think, from China, but they don't ship to the US. And uh, there's no way I can really get this repaired other than just pasting it. So that's what we'll be doing today. We'll be trying to sand the corners down, maybe to get it like less visible. But this is something that I can replace really fast in the future. I can literally take this off again and replace it. So that's something that could be easily replaced in the future. But uh, for the rest of the phone, as far as it goes, everything is gonna look uh, better than it was before. Like I said, this is a restoration. It's not a refurbishment. I'm not replacing parts, I'm restoring parts. Now this is something that should be replaced. There's no way around it because uh, you can't really fix this crack uh, and make it go away. You can just paste it and leave it as. But uh, in the future, if I do get a replacement, part I will definitely replace it because it's that easy to replace everything else we'll go over in this video put it back together and then go from there So as usual, before jumping right in, don't forget to smash that like button down below as it helps this video get on YouTube's algorithm. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and ring that bell notification button so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Uh, also don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about this restoration and also what you think about the Nokia 6800. Do you own one? Did you own one at some, at some point? Uh, do you plan on getting one for a collection or whatever? Just let me know down in the comment section below. And uh, also ask any questions if you have, we can start a discussion or I can answer your questions. My social media is linked down in the description below, which includes Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. And now let's jump right into this video. So firstly, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and paste this uh, crack together, uh, try and clean it up along the edges and go ahead with that. Also, if you haven't seen the full retro style review video on the Nokia 6800, here it is. So you can go ahead and watch the full retro style review video. And I also did a uh, strange phones playlist analysis video of the design, which you can find up here. And uh, you can go ahead and check that out. So firstly, let's go ahead and uh, basically spread this apart a bit more and just clean the edges like that. Uh, clean off the excess glue and then we'll paste it together and then we'll go from there.
All right, so we're almost done here and it's uh, kind of nice to see the phone in one piece. It's just such a bummer that this display is like that. I mean, it would, it would look so much better with a new uh, display, but it is what it is. Let me go ahead and put a SIM card in there. I will definitely update you guys if I do ever find a, uh, find a new faceplate for the thing so that we can replace it and it'll look considerably much better. It could use a paint job as well, but uh, I don't think that's worth it. I mean, as you can see, the paint is peeling there, but at the end of the day, it's probably not worth it. Uh, just spray painting this thing, just leave it as it is. It's not that noticeable. Uh, the battery, I think, is dead. Let me see. Okay, so it's charging. Let's try and power it on. Let's just keep it a while to charge and be right back. All right, so here we are. And as you can see, the phone has turned on. Uh, the display and everything is fine. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Um, let's take this off. And again, if I do get the, uh, if I do get a faceplate, I will replace it off camera. Ooh, that tape didn't come off that well. I'll just uh, take that off with um, rubbing alcohol later. Yeah, that didn't come off that well, but it is what it is, it's duct tape. But yeah, the phone seems to be uh, perfectly fine. As you can see, the buttons work, everything works just fine. Now, let's see if this mechanism will auto-rotate the display. So I'll hold it like this and... Yes, it does work. So the magnet is still functional inside this uh, section here. Let's do that again. Okay, so it goes back to normal. Let's do that once more. Perfect, so when the magnet lifts off from here, the phone knows that it has been taken away and the, the keyboard is in its open position, so it goes back to uh, landscape mode. So that works just fine. I just won't be using it that much for my, for my videos and stuff, because as you can see, the crack is still there, though I glued it. It's still not that uh, strong as it was at some point. Um, I'll just use my other one for the videos. This one, most likely I'll just keep it as a prop on the side because moving this up and down, I still don't have too much confidence in that. The hinge feels solid now after uh, tightening the screws back down and stuff, but it's still not something that, I, uh, that I'll still always do. Uh, so I'll just probably keep this one on the side and use the other one for videos because that one does not have cracks. This one does, but yeah, so a somewhat successful restoration. It's kind of a bummer we couldn't find a replacement part for this. But again, uh, I will take it off if I do find a replacement faceplate and I'll replace it. Um, but as far as this goes, uh, we are done with the restoration of the Nokia 6800. Again, sorry, I couldn't do this part. I just don't have replacement parts and there's no way to honestly properly fix a crack across a clear plastic like that. There's just no way the crack will always remain there's a sandpapering method but that may get worse it may look better it may look worse so I didn't try that sandpaper method but yeah uh, it is what it is I hope you enjoyed this video and if you honestly did don't forget to leave a big thumbs up on the like button down below as it helps this video uh, get on YouTube's algorithm also don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and ring that bell notification button so you're notified whenever I upload a new video uh, leave a comment down below or a question we can start a discussion and I can answer your questions as well my social media is linked down in the description below which includes Instagram Discord and Twitter. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.